Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is for a Cage Warriors Academy Southeast Amateur title and is scheduled to be contested at 135 pounds. Please welcome your first fighter of this match into the cage in the blue corner, Jan Oden Kraus. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponents, making the walk to the cage in the red corner, John Vettel! Well, ladies and gentlemen, Cage Door closes again on yet another amateur junior title fight contested at the 135 pound weight limit. Those of you who are, are regulars to the Cage Warriors Academy Southeast will have seen these two young men before, and young is the operative word. Two young teens, but both of them have phenomenal futures ahead of them. I'm excited to actually see these two John collide. Sorry, John Vettel in the front line, Muay Thai, black shorts, and he takes on Jan Oden Kraus from the Henzo Gracie Hamburg Academy in the black shorts with the red trim. Yes, it could be a real uh, grappler versus striker contest that we see here. We've got one man in Thai shorts and one man fighting out of a Henzo Gracie affiliate, so let's see how this one goes. But just as we thought, the man with the Thai shorts on, letting rip with those bombs early on, and Kraus looking to tie his man up here, pressures. His man against the cage with the body lock and surely going to be looking for the takedown here. Well, if the camps are anything to go by, that's exactly what you would think. But some, some strong takedown D from the front line man as he tries a nice wide base against the cage, controlling the posture and the, making it very young. There's just no way you're going to complete a takedown from this position. But what's happened is he's got like a half cow catcher, and what it does is it allows you to control the man's head, keep it buried, and the great thing about it is wherever the head goes, the body follows. So if you can change the direction of the head, they can't actually take you down because they have to follow where that head's at. The cool thing, though, is Kraus is smart. He keeps trying to elevate his head straight up to give him a better opportunity to actually get in deeper on that takedown. Both these young fighters showing a, a great deal of composure up against the cage. It's a really little thing, but interesting to note there that one of, the, you know, one of the mistakes we often see is guys and they have their hand near the cage and they just instinctively grab it. Kraus put his fist and put his knuckles on the cage to push away. So definitely good cage awareness for the young man from the Hanzo Gracie Hamburg team. Uh, both of these young men have shown great fight IQ in the times that we've seen them compete, i.e., uh, far greater than people that are in their 20s and 30s, and these are young teenagers. And when I say young teenagers, I mean they've been teenagers for just a little while. Nice body kick there from Vettel, but immediately having to defend the takedown, which he oh! does. Looking for the pedigree here. I thought so. It's going to be another piece of... No, Vettel nearly getting his WrestleMania moment here in Colchester. Some people just went kayfabe on me. <laughs> Great control again from the front tie man, John Vettledone, pushes off to try and get a bit of range so he can continue to do this, and he throws fast in here. Fast and heavy there, but the Gracie man, Odin Kraus. Kraus doing everything right. That was a beautiful entry, but how fast was John Vettel in getting those arms down to stop that entry? Now, this is an interesting position because... Both guys are kind of tied up, and if he leaves his leg or his arm behind, he's not going to go home with it. I can't see the stack. Only a few seconds left, and landing some heavy shots to the head. Oh, and the good job clear. from Vettel there. He was able to clear the elbow through, and that's ultimately what saved him at the end of that first round. 
Wow. Now, one thing that we're going to see as well that'll be a little bit interesting is these young kids. I don't. I mean, I remember from my days as being a young kid wrestling. You don't get tired. It's not like adults. Even though you just got locked in a cage, the person against there has the legal right to beat you up. I've noticed since we've done these juniors, these yeah, kids well, never get tired. Now, it's also the weight class. They tend to be a little bit better in shape. But also, I think the age means that instead of the deep breaths that we were seeing in the last fight, we're not going to see as much of that if the fight lasts that long. What, what advice are you giving to the Hanzo Gracie man over there, to, to Odin Kraus? Uh, I, I'm telling Odin that he's leaving his arms a little bit wide every time he takes a shot, and that's why he's getting caught in that cow catcher. So when he's coming in, he's like swooping in instead of keeping his elbows tucked. If I'm over in Vettel's corner, I'm just saying, hey, keep it range. Keep locking those takedowns, but let's do this. Let's light them up, back away, light them up, back away. Because what's happening is he's closing the distance and wrapping you up. Touch your gloves there. And second round underway. Vettel throwing. Again, Kraus trying to bully his way in. and You can hear Vettel's corner screaming up, out, and that's where he goes. I think we're starting to see game plan become evident here now, gentlemen. Yeah, that was great work from Vettel to get himself out of the entanglement, take the center of the cage again. It's exactly where he wants to be. And Otis' biggest problem with that one is he went into it in a fury, but it wasn't controlled chaos. I always tell these young guys, hey, it doesn't matter if it's chaotic, but have it be controlled. And a good, good move from Vettel there. Oh, not engaging it. Oh, he bullied his man down there into side control. It was an easy setup for a cross face, though, because Odin had put his neck up as he shot in, and it was probably more of a, wow, he just rocked me the last time I did this, so I've got to figure out a way to move my head. I'd, li I'd like to see Vettel hold this position, try and get out into the side control, and there's no guessing what I want to see from side control. Needs to the body. Well, you know, you got to believe that Vettel's going to have some big knees from that position, you know. He's obviously got that tie background, and I'm sure that's something he will have worked on, especially oh. considering we don't have the elbows to the, uh, on, on the ground at amateur. So you've got to believe he's going to be drilling those knees. Right, but he creates a bit of space here. He throws some big shots down. Everything's landing on the chin here. Referee Ari Selby taking a close look at this one. No, this one, this one doesn't. Oh, I was going to say, it didn't have long left in it. But He's got to clinch that body and pull his man down on top of him. He has done there. That's going to buy him a few seconds, but surely the referee will not let him take a prolonged beating like that again. But he was smart because if you see, he rushed his way to get back to cage because he wanted to try to think about, okay, I got a wall walk. I got to get out. I've got to do something. Oh, you could try pushing off. He's got the, the oh, say he's got the TK sweep from here. The cage is going to block that. Probably just needs to push himself away. Needs to get those hips raised off the ground and buck his man off him here. But if you notice, both of these guys have a very high IQ, uh, fight IQ. Now, it looks to me like Vettel's nose is bleeding or his head. I can't see where it's coming from. Uh, this, this, this is a flurry that I think might start the beginning of the end. Referee looking really closely now. There's absolutely no wasted movement from John Vettel here. His punches are so accurate on the ground. Kraus, though, tough as nails, trying to hold his man down. And he's not looking for a way out. He's more looking how to get out. So yes. that, that's showing a lot of fortitude from such a young fighter. Referee looking closely again now. I think, I don't know. I, I mean, 10 seconds left. And I got to uh, get a game. I'm going to be honest there. You got to let it go this 10 seconds. I think Harry Selby's given him more than uh, enough opportunity to get out of that position. Uh, I got to say, I thought, wow, there he you know, the referee did. Now, we said earlier, you know, in amateur fights, you want to make sure you take care of kids and they can live to fight another day. But obviously, I mean, he's refed a few of both of these guys' fights, and I think he has an understanding of what they can take. And if it was, say, a one-in-one -one guy or an and o guy, maybe you stop that fight because you're not sure what he can actually handle. And this is a junior title fight as well. You know, there is a title on the line. It is a Cage Warriors Academy title. Oh, no. Harry Selby's got a much better view of the action than we do. You know, he can see the little things, he can see the little reactions, and you know that, that's why you got to trust the referee's judgment in these situations. The hardest job in MMA is the referee. It's the most thankless job. It's the most critiqued job. Doesn't matter how bad judges are. Always ends with the referee. We have seen fights stopped for less.
I think is the point that I was where we've seen fights stopped for less, but can't take anything. Oh, Doctor yeah, said everything's no, fine. Everything's fine. We're good to go. Well, what I do think now is that Ian Odenkras is going to have to be very careful if he gets in that bottom position. I don't think the referee is going to let him take another beating like that. No, I think you're absolutely right. But if I am Vettel, I go after him. Yeah. I'm absolutely aggressive. Keep that chin tucked and just keep throwing the punches because he had success with it. Well, he's had, to be fair to Vettel, he's had success everywhere. I mean, he stepped over into that full mount with no issue at all against a, a Henzo Gracie fighter. Oh, oh big oh, head nice kick, head just kick. a couple of inches too short. Toes across the teeth there from Vettel. Kraus, then, though, still trying to get in on that takedown, get in, bully his man up against the cage. But if you um, notice, there was a bit of technique in that. He backed himself into his own corner so that if he got stuck anywhere, he was in his corner to be able to listen to his corner men give advice. Well, he's got the trip, now looking to try and walk up into the, into the mount, perhaps. He's going to have a solid two minutes to work here, and that's something we've not seen him in, in that kind of position so far in this fight. Battle trying really hard to get that close guard and to just clamp him down, which he's done. Now, depending on how long they're going to hold this, they might stand him back up in two seconds or 30 seconds. So, But it's exactly the right move for Vettel to do. It takes away all of the options for the moment. It means that Kraus has to work to get a better position, and it's eating time away. And, you know, Kraus doesn't just have to work to get a better position. He's going to work for a finish here. He's going to have to stop this fight in the third round. No, he has to get his hands up off the mat. Right now, his right arm's trapped underneath Vettel. And if he's not working to try to actually cause some damage that's going to stop this fight, he's going to lose it. And if I'm in his corner, that's what I'm screaming. Is Vettel looking to try and bring those? Is it just for defense, or is he get, with a bit of room, could he throw it up for a triangle? Well, he's got the one arm caught there, so look for the triangle to come up. Look for him to throw that leg up on the other side. It's going to try and get over the top of the shoulder now, after which he'll try and put the ankle underneath his own knee. But he's got, he's got some ways to go here, and his man's recovered guard. But he was using the stack as a bait in. So he was actually letting him stack him up to try to swim that leg through. Uh, Kraus saw it and was smart enough to at least move to the right side. But that was kind of a tricky little move by Vettel. It was nice. Yeah, I think you, you said it earlier on in the fight. The fight IQ from these guys is not what you would expect from a couple uh, of young teenagers. It's what you'd expect from guys who maybe yeah, have been competing for five, six right. years already. Really impressive to see. And it's great to see oh. the future of MMA. Oh, that's deep. Now the arms, the arms bent there, so he should be okay until he can pull that arm out. If he can get the elbow past the fulcrum point, he should be okay. But uh, he's cleared it now. He's cleared it now. But Very intelligent stuff there. Vettel showing. Vettel showing not not only can he be dangerous standing, that on the ground he's going to make you work. He's going to look for submissions. Well-rounded skill set on display here by Vettel. Well-rounded skill set on display from both these Absolutely. guys. Absolutely. Both T guys have had a lot to do offensively, defensively. Yeah, it was one-way traffic for John Vettel in the first two rounds, but both guys showed me a lot here, and I'll tell you what, I'll buy a ticket to either of these guys next fight. I'm excited to see what happens when these kids turn 18, 19, 20 years old. I mean, these and are these are people that you look at and you go, oh my God, look at them peaking. No, they're 16. Yeah, like another, they're not even, they're, they're, they've not grown into their strength, they've not grown into, they, they don't even understand how their bodies work yet. Let's be, I mean, honestly. No, oh, the two, two young fighters here. Only one's gonna walk away with the title, but neither should have, hang their head. Great performance from the Henzo Gracie man. And you'd have thought, you know, if the rounds were five minutes and five, he might've had a little more time to work in the third. Just a, a, a phenomenal fight from two young men who I am sure we're going to hear a lot of in the future. Yeah, but I, I have to say, Kraus does have one hell of a chin. Because in the first and second, he got lit up and kept walking forward. That middle name of Odin is kind of a well worth, well earned. Fighters to the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to your judges' scorecards, where the judges have declared your winner by way of unanimous decision, and the new Cage Warriors Academy Southeast Champion, 
in the red corner, John Vettel. kampen og jeg er veldig glad for at jeg fikk motstander så a big applause to Kraus because he came here to fight me thanks a lot du har jo nylig vært hos Team Alpha Male og trent, jeg har selv vært der og vet hvor strenge de er med å slippe fightere inn og trene med pro teamet det må jo gitt en ekstra selvtillitsbuss før kampen ja det har vært veldig mye inspirasjon og det var veldig mye på en gang, for jeg møtte alle de store stjernene til å trene med dem. Så det var dødskult. Har du noe spesielt i tankene fremover nå? Jeg har selvfølgelig lyst til å gå flere kamper. Jeg har veldig lyst til å gå mot SCT Clark. Han fighter fra MMA Underground. Han gikk kamp mot en annen som er fra Norge. Og han vant kampen sin. Så jeg har lyst til å gå mot han her neste gang. Da håper vi på at vi får til det. Gratulerer så mye. Mine damer og herrer, Jon Vettel i Pureheim.